Hi, I'm Funny Wine Girl Janine Luby. I have a page on Facebook called Funny Wine Girl, and I recently started a podcast called Uncorked with Funny Wine Girl. Each week, I take on a different topic in which I either speak myself or I have a guest, and we have a great little conversation where we uncork. That's why the name is Uncorked. It is not just about wine. I will say that we integrate and talk a little bit about wine because I love wine and it's part of my whole uh, thing, so to speak. But when we say uncork, we're not just referring to wine. We're saying you as a person, me as a person, my guests, that we're opening up, we're breathing, we're letting things out, we're pouring things out. So we're talking and we hope each week, I hope each week with my podcast, that I will entertain you, engage you, and that maybe you'll walk away with some new information, you'll be educated, you'll be newly informed, maybe you'll have had some laughs, and maybe even learn about wine. But the point is, you don't have to be a uh, wine drinker to uncork and enjoy. So I hope you will. I've gotten about, oh gosh, I have, I should say, about five or six episodes out there. Um, let's see, about five or six, a couple short ones that were just tests to get them going. I spoke to my good friend Oliver, who's a cinephile. He loves movies and has blogged about them, uh, a movie a day for 100 days. He did that. So we had a great conversation about movies, what he enjoys, what I enjoy, how they can you know, just represent great memories. He has some really fond memories of watching movies with his mom, with his dad, and talking about what that means to him. I had talked about uh, my first movie date, my first date actually, how we met on the public transportation on the Colts bus and went to uh, our local mall to have a date. So we shared some memories there. Um, I spoke about my trip to France. Pardon me here while I turn around. Uh, when I first went to Paris and I made friends with a woman on a train, and this is what her husband, who's a wonderful illustrator, came up with. This is our short story of how Marie de Guine, who lives in France, and I met on a train because I was lost trying to get to Auvers or Was to see the grave of my favorite post impressionist painter. Well, that's what my favorite painter. He happens to be post impressionist. Van Gogh, and I'm sure a lot of people know him for Starry Night. I actually discovered him when I was looking for a poster for my college dorm room, and it was the artist of the uh, the bedroom, excuse me, I don't know if I didn't get enough sleep last night or what, the artist's bedroom, and I love the blues that were used, and I didn't know Van Gogh from anything. I just saw the poster, and I love the blue color that was in it, and I put it in my dorm room and really didn't think much more about it until years later, when I was going for my master's degree and I did in my speech class then, I did do a little more investigating and research about him and just was fascinated about Van Gogh's life. And I had always thought he was born in France, but he, he wasn't. He was actually Dutch, born in Amsterdam, and um, he was born to a, a pastor, a minister, his father was, and he even considered doing that for a while, and he only sold one painting his whole life. And he struggled and he lacked confidence and he lacked money. And if it wasn't for the support of his brother Theo or Theo, we could say, he would have been lost. So I just find him fascinating. His work is beautiful and fascinating. So in France, I got to see a lot of his work in the museums, but I also was able to, on the train, on my way to see his gravesite where he's buried next to his brother Theo, I met my friend Marie and we have had this beautiful relationship, friendship since 2002 and we're in 2021 now. So it's like a 19, almost 20 year friendship. I have since returned to France and I've stayed with uh, Marie and her husband, Jean-Claude. We've spent a week together in uh, at a farmhouse in Provence. So I got to see where Van Gogh spent much of his time painting and that was a wonderful memory. And they actually came to Scranton, where I live, Scranton, Pennsylvania, Northeastern Pennsylvania. Scranton is home of the office, of course, everyone knows. They came here in 2015 and spent a week here in my home with me. Um, I lived, I spent the week next door with my parents so that they could have the place to themselves. But those are some of the topics that we dive into on my podcast, Uncorked with Funny Wine Girl. So you'll hear about movies, you'll hear about my travel to France, my friendship that was formed, bringing them here in Scranton. And if you ever want to come to Scranton, home of the office, many people actually are kind of curious and interested in seeing Scranton. I talk a little bit about some of the places that I took them that they enjoyed. And a recent episode, in fact, this past week was about wine and food pairings. And I spoke with Sandy Graham, who's the owner of a business called The Vintage Kitchen in Scranton. 
she has a background in nutrition and food and she talks about she does cooking classes and sewing classes but we spoke about food and wine pairing but also about the importance of cooking and how so much has to go into it how there's science into it and when we prepare a meal that we really need to think about our budget and then how many people we're serving and how we create memories with our family and we just had a really fun great conversation and then there's a short snippet um i kind of uh what's the word I kind of surprised my friend Tina Gallagher, who is a romance author, and I, I say ambushed her, but that's a little harsh. One day we were working out together and I said, let's let's use this Anchor app that I've got for my podcast. Let's do a little test. So it was like a very brief conversation with Tina. So that's one of the, not full episodes, it's short, but I kind of wanted to just try out the Anchor app and I spoke with her and like I said, she wasn't quite prepared for an interview, but we're gonna have a full interview coming up. She writes romance novels that are about this, ma imagine, I shouldn't say imaginary, but this made up baseball team called the Carolina Waves. They're very, a little bit spicy, a little saucy, but not too saucy, love stories. And then she'll be starting a whole new series that will be coming up after she finishes the series of the Carolina Waves players. So we had a very brief conversation, we'll have more. And there's a lot more to come. I like to have, like I said, it's not just about wine. It's about people opening up, sharing memories, um, information, things they've learned along the way. So hopefully you'll feel informed after you listen. You'll feel maybe nostalgic. You will have laughed. Um, maybe you'll get inspired. I don't know. So I hope you'll uncork and listen to my podcast, Uncorked with Funny Wine Girl. That's me, Janine Luby.